What is my favorite way to disinfect a perch so that your parrot has a nice clean perch? Because if you've had parrots for five minutes, you know that they bite the perch and the perch gets poopy. So you want to do your best to get <laughs> clean. <laughs> hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parrotless Bond. In this squawky video, my macaw, Kailani, is squawking because her sister's inside. Her sister's a little under the weather, so hopefully she'll get better. Um, and so she's like, where's my sister or where's my other mass monster? Um, I have over 20 species of parrots. I love parrots. If you want to get blissed out and if you want to learn a little about parrots, you're in the right place. Uh, if you're used to hanging out, thank you for hanging out. Love you guys. And let's get started. There are several ways to disinfect a perch. Off the top of my head, there's products you can buy. Um, you can do things like bake your perch. You can certainly wash your perch. You could certainly put your perch out in the sun and um, you know, wash it and put it in the sun because the sun does have disinfecting properties. Can you go on the, the arm of the chair? Oh, what a relief. Macaws have a really strong grip. This is Kailani, my Catalina macaw who has you need some help with that? Don't, can you not eat that? Can I have that feather back? Yeah. You need help? Can I help you? <laughs> it's stuck under your tongue. Can I help you get it? No, no. I just want to help you. I know, you've got a feather there. Can I help you? You got it. Woohoo! Good job. Um, one of my favorite ways would be either bleach or vinegar, and probably vinegar. I like vinegar because it's not toxic. Not that you or, or ah. your bird could drink it. What? What? I know you're bothered because because Cammy's not here, huh? I know. Do you want me to put you back in with her? Okay. We will. Give me two minutes or five. So um, the thing about perches is, first of all, make sure your, your perch is made out of wood. Why? Because a plastic or metal perch is hard on these little feet. And these little feet, they don't grow back the way like when our skin like gets cut or worn down. Or the, the perches that are supposed to um, nail file their nails, but don't, but they do file down their skin. Be really logical about it, guys. Those perches, um, I could try to show you with my hand, but I mean, look at the way she's grabbing. Her nails are hardly on my hand or my finger, but her skin is. So that means that you want a soft wood material, not plastic, not metal, and certainly not a file. I don't understand. That's gotta be one of the worst products for parents. All it's gonna do is wear their feet down and cause them all sorts of pain and all sorts of problems, really bad. And like I said, the skin doesn't grow back. So so you have a wood perch, I'm sure, because you want a blissful bond with your parrot. And you know that your parrot is not going to be blissed out if their feet hurt them. They're going to be unhappy. So you have a, a wood perch and no doubt you want to clean it. Um, for me, washing it with soap and water kind of thing and then spraying it with a mix of vinegar. I use a 50-50 mix, 50 water, 50 vinegar and then putting it out in the sun. To me, that's like triple, you should be clean. I washed you with soap, I sprayed you with vinegar water, and then I put you out in the sun. And if that doesn't get things clean, ah. I can't do anything else. In other words, um, you know, you could bake it in the oven, which is kind of cool. I, I forget, I think you bake it like at 150 degrees for 20 minutes, that kind of thing, ah. so that it kills anything that's living in there, any bacteria, that kind of thing. But um, that takes more time. So I kind of, my preferred method is to wash and ah. spray. Uh, I also, I like rotating their perches because it gives them something new, which is exciting for them. And it gives you a chance to, you know, leave the perch out in the ah. sun and leave the perch untouched for a while. Because the other thing is if you do that and the perch just sits untouched for a while, 
you know, it gives whatever's on it a chance to die if it didn't make it for, through the first, you know, through the soap, the vinegar, and the sun, which the sun's pretty darn good at, at killing those things. So there you have it. That is a small thing to help, um, you know, your parrots stay blissfully healthy because healthy parrots are blissful parrots or more likely to be blissful, unhealthy parrots lose their bliss. If you have any questions or comments, please be sure to comment below. I hope you liked the video. I hope you um, put some sort of comment and like, and then this girl or one of my other 20 plus species and I will meet you in the next blissful video where maybe I will tell you a little bit again, cause I did it once before about one of the best birds to buy right now. Um, the market is really primed. If you want a parrot, I would be shopping like now. Very good time to buy. Thanks guys. I'll see you next time.